Hello guys, welcome back to AJ Activities. Today I'm going to be doing a collab with my friend and um her name is uh she has two YouTube channels, so I'll link them both in the description. Um and so yeah, we're doing a collab, so check out her video of uh, drawing one of my people that um I'm going to post a video on soon. Um and then I'm drawing one of hers. So, um, let's just go ahead and get started. I really love this drawing. So, I'm very excited to recreate it in my style. So, let's just get started. So, to do this, I'm not going to be doing a full sheet of paper, but I'm going to draw it in my sketchbook. So, let's get started. I don't know if I've shown you guys my sketchbook before, but I have a few drawings in here. And I'm just going to draw hers yeah um let's just go ahead and start drawing i'm gonna go into time lapse um but the voiceover me will come on so <laughs> let's just start drawing i'm so excited so um i just start drawing right away sketching out my uh my uh, redraw of her character and i really like the hair and like the way she made the hair like cover the body i thought that looked really pretty and i like it so much um i think i like the original better than mine but i still think mine was cute and it was really fun to sketch okay so here is the finished sketch um this i want to say a few things before i um jump into the uh, line art I just wanted to see, say that this actually took me a longer time than you might think. This took me like half an hour. That's that doesn't sound like that long, but it's it's a long time. And um I really like how it turned out. Um another thing is I I love this drawing. Um shout out to um Gotcha Wolf of YouTube and uh, Midnight Sunset. That those are her two channels. I will link them in the description. I already said that, but um, but anyway, her drawing is just so cute. I love it. Um, and I just think it's just so cute. I just when I first saw this that she said to redraw this, I was so happy. I didn't really tell her that I was that happy, but I love this drawing so. Thank you for giving this to me. I'm sure she's watching this video right now. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into my line art. Uh, sorry that took a minute to explain, but I just wanted to let people know that I love this and it takes me a long time. So, um, let's just go ahead and start the line art. Okay, so um, I just erased before I did line art and then I went right in with... Um, my Posca pen, uh, I, I used a Posca pen because my actual line art is starting to run out of ink, so, um, that's why I used a Posca pen, and it's actually my first time doing, like, a full image with Posca pen, um, because Posca pen is paint, I say this later on, but whatever, um, but I ended up being able to do it, um, I just had to wait for it to dry, and I think it ended up looking actually really nice and bold, so I'm happy with that. So here I have got my finished, uh, drawing. I'm just kind of erasing it a little bit. So since I used Posca Pen to line this, I had to wait for it to dry, because Posca Pen is a, uh, paint. Um, as you can see, this is paint, and... It will get wet if you touch it right away. <laughs> so, um, why did I do that? Oh my gosh, my hand. Um, <laughs> but I'm just now erasing. And I'm just going to start coloring. I'm going to do some of it like real time. Some of it time lapse. Most of it is probably going to be time lapsed. Um, but I'm just going to start coloring right now. And then I'll jump into time lapse once I get started. So, um, I'm going to start picking my colors. So, the markers I'm going to be using are Ohuhu markers, and I might, I don't know yet, but I might use some of my uh, Copic and Artist Loft markers. So, the only Copic markers I have are skin tones. Uh, it's lighter skin tones. I might just use these for shading, um, but they're here. And then my 
my pink ones. These are my Artist Loft. I use these as blush. And uh, this is just a little trash can. And this is my colors and whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm probably going to be mostly using my Ahuhus. So here are all of my Ahuhus. This is my color guide. Um, but I do have to test them out on this paper because it's a different paper than what I normally use. And I think they come out a little darker. So that's just something to think about for me. Um, <clears throat> so you might not be able to see them. But um, they are here. I'm checking. Yeah, you can't really see these, but they're here. And then the other ones, I have a Hoo Skin Tone set now, a 24-pack, and I can use these for skin tone as well, which I'm probably going to do. And so I'm just going to uh, start choosing my colors. This might take a minute, so I'm going to get this into time lapse and then uh, show you my colors and start coloring. Okay, so um, I start picking out my colors, and I just experiment with different colors for shading, and I end up finding some nice colors that weren't exact, but they were pretty similar, so I think that worked out pretty well. Okay, so I have all of my um, colors. <laughs> I have all of my colors picked out. Um, I do uh, use the Copic markers because the skin tone she uses, I couldn't find um, any markers that were close enough to that. So I just decided to use um, this, the Copics, yeah, because <laughs> I thought it was the closest to that skin tone. And then uh, I found a few purples that I could use for shading along with the hair, and then I did end up using, <laughs> end up using blush. Um, so, it's kind of weird, but I have this skin tone set, but most of the time I use it for hair. So, um, that's what I did. I used these for hair. So, let's just start coloring. I think I'm actually going to do most of it in time lapse because... Oh, this is weird. It's like layered. Um, anyway, sorry. I think I'm going to do most of it in time lapse because it's just easier for me, but I will try and do some real time. I, I don't really do that ever, so, but, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring. I'm making this like a giant long lecture. <laughs> I'm just going to start coloring. So I guess I'm just going to start coloring and then I'll do the time lapse later. This is weird because I never really talk when I'm coloring. Um. I'm just gonna start. I never know when to start. Uh, I'm just gonna start on the hair. I feel like I always start on on the hair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the right color. Yes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna um, be coloring. This is so weird, I never do this. This, I didn't really, I wasn't able to find like the best colors um, because I think she used a different set. She has this Ohuhu set, but I don't think she used it because she made this drawing a while ago. So um, I had to find the things that best matched that and I don't really have the exact colors, but I think these are close enough, so yeah this is so weird i never like talk when i'm drawing unless i'm with like a friend um how are all you guys during this quarantine i hate it <laughs> i miss seeing my friends like i can see them like over facetime and stuff but i just get so sad i'm lonely i'm definitely a social por person and I talk weirdly. Poison. Um. I think this is actually really cute. I just love that design. I think hers looks better. <laughs> I don't really draw like this. That's probably mostly why. And also she's just better at that sort of thing. She's really good at hairstyles. Whereas I think I'm better around like poses and um 
Her eyes are amazing. I do like the worst crappy eyes. Okay, I'm starting to speed up now because I don't focus. <laughs> um. So, um, I just start coloring the hair, doing a lot of shading. Um, actually, the hair took a longer time than I thought it would because I'm usually pretty quick when coloring, but, um, yeah, I think it actually looks really good because I added a lot of shading, and, um, yeah, I'm just, like, looking. I focused so much on the hair, but I think it actually looks pretty good, so I'm happy with how the hair turned out. And I like the outfit, too. So, um, I say so way too much. I just start on the skin tone. The skin tone, actually, I spent a lot of time layering on the skin tone because, for some reason, I think my Copic is starting to run out of ink because I use it so much. But, um, I just had to keep layering and it looked good. Then I think I did way too much blush. And I messed up on the nose because the black smudged, it wasn't dry yet, so that was fun. Alright, so here is my friend's drawing, and here is the final drawing. Um, I think this actually turned out really cute. I really like it. Um, I think hers is cuter. Um, I messed up a little on mine, on the, like, the nose or whatever. But, um, <laughs> I think it actually looks pretty cool seeing the same drawing in two different styles. Like, this is my second time doing this, and I really love doing these, so, uh, hopefully I can do more. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, it's so cute. I love this. This was really fun to do. So, make sure to like if you liked this video, and, um... Thank you for watching. Bye.